the Brewers confirmed that Jackson Churio will make the opening day roster, which makes sense after signing that eight-year extension earlier in the offseason. NFBC ADP over the past week, 122.8 as the 32nd outfielder off the board. Scott, we know that you've been much higher on Churio throughout the offseason. You have him 75th yep. overall as your 29th <laughs> outfielder. Yeah. I assume this report doesn't change anything for you. Uh -huh. but do you think Churio will start to tick up now in ADP with the confirmation? Yeah, I'm going to guess I've drafted him for the last time because there's just going to be too much competition <laughs> for him now that he's been confirmed. Not that I don't think he deserves it, but it's, you know, I've, I've, I've already I've already grown accustomed to taking him at a certain place, and I don't know that I don't know that I have the stomach for taking him earlier. Um, by the way, you say I have him 79th overall. I don't think I've ever taken him that high. 70. I, I, I think I just have that whole group of outfielders higher in my overall rankings than the consensus does. So in the flow of the draft, I don't I don't think 79 for Chorio, but I imagine he'll probably get pushed up to about that. That's even now, yeah. that's even a little bit higher than me. I've got him. <laughs> yeah. I've and I've had him here for a while. That that's one of the things with the rookies that the guys that I thought that were going to break camps uh like Jackson Holiday, like Langford and like Churio, I try to keep them up a majority of the time. I've got him at 87. So 87 overall overall I haven't pushed all my outfielders up. This uh, and that the same question if if you'd ask me. I don't know if this changes too much. Maybe there's like a little bit more confirmation. Probably doesn't. I've been putting him at a spot where I think he's going to break camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're talking top prospects later in the podcast as well. And um, we actually have this new projection system called the CTW, Chris V. Welsh projections. <laughs> and we're, we're breaking them out today for the first time. Uh, last year in the minors, Trio did this as a 19 year old, 282 batting average, 22 homers, 44 steals. Welsh, what do you think is a realistic projection here? Again, we're not talking upside, median projection, 50th percentile. What is realistic to expect from Trio this season? This is the anti bat X that hates rookies. Of course, I'm going to like them, but I'm going to be a little bit more strict on some of these players. I feel like I've actually got a really good gauge on rookie stolen bases uh, ever since last year. But my, what did you call it? The CTW projections? Yeah. Chris Evil's projections. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My Jackson Cheerio uh, projection 255. 18 homers, 70 runs, 75 RBIs with 35 stolen bases. So I am going to probably beat. There's actually one of these rookies we're going to talk about that I think I have a lower stolen base projection than. But I think Churio is going to make up for what could be some maybe early not getting the ball in the air stuff. Whenever he gets on base, I think he's going to be aggressive on the base paths. We saw him steal over 40 in the minors. I don't think that's going to change at the major league level. If his batting average really stinks, we'll see where that goes. But if he's hitting 250, I think he's stealing over 30 bases.